Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You can now edit video in Lightroom. Now let me be clear, I'm not talking about Lightroom Classic. Unfortunately, this functionality is not yet found in Lightroom Classic, but I do expect it to be added in the near future. The version of Lightroom I'm talking about is the version of Lightroom that Adobe simply calls Lightroom, what many of us call Lightroom in the Cloud or Lightroom Mobile, specifically version 5.4. If you have that version of Lightroom, you can now edit video with it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, the first thing you need to do is get that video into Lightroom, and that may not be readily apparent. There is an Add Photos button, but there isn't an Add Video button. If I go up to the File menu, you see there's an Add Photos menu item, but there isn't an Add Video uh, menu item. Well, to add the video, you just click on Add Photos. That's what you need to do. So we'll click on Add Photos. Navigate to where the video is on your computer. I have a video on my hard drive right here. I'll click Review for Import. Now this video was shot in Log. Those of you not familiar with Log videos, a Log video is kind of akin to a RAW file as far as a still photo is concerned. So the camera didn't do any editing to this image. It is kind of like a RAW file. I have to do the editing in post-production. Now I have the video here. I'm going to add it to Lightroom. And there it is. Now, when you import or add a video into Lightroom, directly below the video and above the film strip, you'll see that there's a play button. So I could play this. Also, there is a scrubby kind of slider so I could scrub through the video. Also, there's a couple arrows. Those allow you to skip forward or back one frame at a time. And also, when I'm playing the video, you'll notice those arrows turn into like jump ahead by 10 seconds. So I could jump ahead by 10 seconds or jump back by 10 seconds. So I'm allowed to do that. Now, this is a very short video clip that I took. And you can see it looks kind of rough because it was shot in log. So we need to edit it. Now, unfortunately, some of the editing is limited, and we'll go over that as we get to it. Let's start with the crop tool. Go to the crop tool. You know, so there's no handles. We really can't crop the image. We can't straighten the image. But we, what we can do with the crop tool is we could flip the image. We could flip it horizontally, and we could flip it vertically. Also, we could trim the length of the video. To do that, there's some handles when you open the crop tool. And let's say I want to trim a, trim a second or two off the end of the video. Just grab the handle and pull it to the left. And same thing for the beginning of the video, I'm able to do that. When you're done trimming, just close the crop tool to commit to that trim. Now it is a non-destructive raw editor for videos, just like it is for still images. So if you accidentally trimmed away something you need, just open up the crop tool again, and you'll notice those handles are right where we left them, so we could come in and readjust them as needed. I'm just going to bring them right out. And that's all you could do with the crop tool, unfortunately. So I'm going to close that. Now let's go to the edit panel. Now you notice when you open the edit panel for a video, that detail, optics, and geometry are grayed out. So you can't do anything there. But everything else almost you could do. Also, uh, presets, if you have some images, still image presets, those presets will work on videos. Unfortunately, though, the parts of the preset that have to do with detail, optics, or geometry just won't be done to the image. Everything else will. Also, profiles will work. Not all profiles, though. For example, I cannot uh, choose a black and white profile on this color video. As a matter of fact, I can't even convert this color video to black and white at all. So I'm kind of stuck with color. Uh, but some of the profiles will work. If I go to artistic and just hover over them, you can see how they're changing accordingly. So if I go to mod modern, same thing. So the profiles do work. And the profiles work exactly as they would if this was a still image. You should apply the profile very early in your processing and then process off that profile. Now I'm going to stay with the default color profile. We're going to jump down to the light tab. Now the light tab, everything is active except the point curve. Unfortunately, you can't do any curves adjustment to a video. But we're going to adjust this. I'm going to open up the shadows. And may rein in those highlights a little. And 
don't know. Let's see if we could do here. Maybe open up the shadow a little more. So there is light, and you could get before afters by just pressing on this little eyeball for this specific tab. There's before, there's after. Also, you could hit the backslash key like you would normally. There's before, and there's after. Now I'll jump down to the color tab, and here we're going to add some vibrance. And you'll see both the color mixer and color grading are active, so we could do that. So we'll go to the color mixer, and we'll go to luminance, and let's go to yellow, and make the yellows a little brighter. Maybe even the greens a little brighter. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll bring blue down a little bit, make that a little darker. See what the aqua does. Aqua does as well. Oranges, make that a little brighter. So the color mixer works. I could go to color grading and maybe I'll add a little warmth to the highlights. Just a tiny bit though. Maybe just a little cool tone to the shadows. Kind of your typical class 101 color grading. And effects. The only effects that are active are vignette and grain. That's it. So nothing else is available as far as effects are concerned. In this case here, I don't think I'm going to add any effects at all. And again, detail, optics, geometry are all grayed out. Now, as I edited this frame, it actually did the entire video. So if I hit play, you'll see there it is. You can get before after here while it's playing. Just hit the backslash key. There's before. And there's after. There's before. And there's after. E roll. Just like that and hit stop. So when you're satisfied with your edit, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is to export the video. So to do that, you could go to the little export button right here, or you could just go up to file, export. And when you do over on the right hand side, you have to tell it what video type, the original, which was this a .mov file or an mp4. I'm gonna go with the mp4. Uh, file naming original, or you could give it a custom name. And I'll call it my edit. All right, and start number one's fine. And that's it. That's your only options. I'm going to click export one video. And then it will ask me where, and I'll do it to the desktop. Right there. And you can, need, you can see in the top left-hand corner, there is a there was a progress bar. So it doesn't take too long uh, to export it. And there it is right here. So here is our unedited video. Let me play that one first. So there's the unedited video. I'll just play a second or two of that, and then we'll go to the edited video and play this one. So that's it. That's how you could edit a video in Lightroom. Again, not Lightroom Classic. And unfortunately, it is limited. I do expect them to, to add more functionality to this as it matures a little bit. So hopefully down the line, we'll be able to sharpen our videos. They'll add the detail tab. We'll be able to crop the videos because sometimes that's important. And what's important too is straighten the videos. Often, unfortunately, we sometimes take a video and it's crooked. We need to straighten it. So hopefully that gets added as well. And I do expect all this functionality to be added to Lightroom Classic somewhere down the line as well. So that's it, editing videos in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.